Joining us this morning here in studio are three Madoff victims. Adrian Biondo, whose family's savings were wiped out. Dr. Henry Backey, an orthopedic surgeon whose practice had $33 million invested with Madoff. And Phyllis, Mol Phyllis Molchatsky, a retiree who lost her life savings. Good morning to the three of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. I know you will be at the courthouse later today. If you're chosen to speak, what do you want the judge to know? Maggie, I can tell you that in my family alone, if you give the cumulative years of work that have vanished in one phone call, it's about 120 years. If you take 10 more families, and I know that there are multitudes more than 10, that's a thousand years of hard work. He doesn't have enough time in his life to serve for the damage that he's done to families that worked hard their whole entire lives just to save and have a dignified retirement possibly pass something off to their children. Why do you want to spend the end of your life after you've worked 40, 50 years, as, as some people have, to be faced with the potential to possibly have to return to work at 90 to bag groceries, as we understand there's right. one investor has done in Florida. There's a good chance that today he will plead guilty, he will never leave jail again, and he could spend up to 150 years in prison. Does that satisfy you, Henry? No, I think we need the prosecutors to find out the other culpable parties because he didn't do it alone. And I think that's the only hope for the victims to get some restitution. And I know that that's sort of been your crusade since this happened. You turned your anger into positive well, we're, we're, effort. We're, there's no reason to be angry. This man has no conscience. He has no heart. So it's a waste of time. And that's why I'm not going to the court. I think if we spend the time on this, it should be something that's positive that we can get the government to act for the victims. You to said me, this was a colossal government failure. How so? I think the SEC failed. They were in eight times, and they couldn't figure anything out. All they had to do was look in his trades, and no, it, we're being told that he did no trades. So where's the money? It's somewhere. The SEC, well, he was on the advisory board. He was president of NASDAQ. He was known as the White Knight. In my mind, he's an economic terrorist and the SEC just failed us. Is and the SEC criminally liable? Well, possibly? Uh, I don't know if that's, no, I don't think they can be. I think they're, it's a government institution that uh, they did their job, they just did it very poorly. But I think that means that the government has to be accountable for it. What do you think, Phyllis? I know you've been going well, after the SEC since this happened yes, as well. Yes, yes. I mean, of course, everyone wants him to have his karmic justice as well as those near and dear to him. But we can't forget about the victims. The victims need restitution. The SEC did not do their job. They were negligent. They were ineffective. Uh, whether they didn't have the right people, they didn't have the right funding, uh, the people weren't trained, whatever the reason, they hung out, a sh they put out a shingle and they lured people into a false sense of security. And, and let's not forget that Mr. Markopoulos is the one that did all the legwork. If the IRS would just amend the rule in having the victims be able to go back more than three years, after all, every year we paid out of our pockets tax money based on what the world knows now, fictitious profits. Mm -hmm. For 13 years? For 13 for years, 13 years the, of no trades. We're paying taxes. If the SEC, if the uh, CIPIC would also amend and include not just some of the victims, but all of the victims, and that's what uh, my attorneys at Herrick and Feinstein are helping me do mm -hmm. in uh, suing the SEC. Do you think that when he looks in the mirror in prison that he'll have a conscience that he'll say, I'm a terrible person and I defrauded these people? Some people just no. are not capable. I just hope that he cares enough about his family that he'll speak up and allow this process to go on in the quickest way it can so that he doesn't hurt the victims anymore. And maybe there'll be some way to salvage the rest of his family. But right. I don't think he's going to look in the mirror and think anything about this. All right. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Man. Appreciate it. Dr. Henry Backey, Phyllis Molchatsky, and Adrian Biondo.